Hi <laughs> everyone. Good evening. <laughs> so that started off really weird, didn't it? Did it? <laughs> Hello. Hi. Thank you for joining us. Thank um, you. We are Matusu Crafts, and my name is Barry. And I'm Jay. Good. Lovely. At least we remembered your name today. <laughs> Did I forget it? I don't know. Time. I just. I Saying it's the something. same random rubbish. Um, hi Lisa, thanks for joining us. So, um, how have you been? I am waiting for the answer and it's just really weird to talk into the screen. Really. Yes. <laughs> um, so yeah, tonight we are going to be doing something with the um, basic patterns, decorative masks and perfectly plaid stamp sets. Mm -hmm. And we are both going to be making the one card. Hello, hello. Hi, Gigi. Hi, Mum. Bonjour. <laughs> so, oh, and the comments don't go through again. We have to work out what's going on with yeah. that. So, yes, yeah, so, um, I don't, I'm, I've lost right. myself again. Carry on, you, you do it. So, yes, yeah, so we are creating a card tonight. It is going to be a 7x7 seven seven card, uh, so it's a massive one. Uh, just because we have the cardstock uh, still from way back when we weren't a demonstrator so we still have loads of card stock and we we decided to create a big card for class yesterday and the ladies loved it uh, this was the card i will show you closer uh, when the camera is facing down but that was using the feels like frost and frosted frames and it's got the ice glitter on there as well so this is one of our class card um yeah last night um also continuing yeah. on with the... and we also did this one as well so this is using the oh so, and look who's here <laughs> as as Come normal on. right on cue and this is the other one which we did as well so this is using the feels like frost designer series paper and we've used the back side of it um so not the photographic side to so the bit which is the whisper white and the silver foil and then we've used highland heather to um to give us that ombre effect so using the brayers the sponge brayers which we which we sell we've created this ombre effect and obviously and because you've got the silver on it as well it's it's kind of like an embossed resist so you can see that shine away so the purple is on the white and it's resisted we've also stamped it and you may be able to see them there those little dots can you see yeah. can you see I, the I little dots see. there yeah they are um, from the, I've forgotten what it's called. Shimmery Crystal Effect. That's it. Well done. And they've all, and, the, and the little things have all been coloured with Winker Stella as well, which is nice. Thanks. And the offcut from that card, so we always want, uh, like sharing handy tips with our class attendees. The offcut, we created a, a, sec, a third card. Um, for the offcut and just the panel with so the sentiment. It was braided, the, the, one, the one six by six pieces all braided all at once and then it was cut into two pieces to um, to do that. So it's a good way of using your, good way of using your designer series paper and it's a lovely paper as well. Hi Sandra. Hello. Hi Jan. So, which is really good. So, um, and it shows you both sides of using it. So you've got the nice photographic side and you've got the nice um, other um, the white and silver side which is really quite nice to it. and it's good that you can colour it which I think is a nice little tip yes so hopefully the ladies enjoyed it in class last night I know we've got a couple of you watching right now so um, hope you enjoyed yourselves so that's good um, yes. what do we need to add so uh, only for today the 24 hour stamp sale is on so it, that will end in a couple of hours so it will end at 10 50 tonight I yeah, think it 10 is 10 50 so. GMT time so Grab yourself a bargain if you live in the UK, France, Germany, Austria, and the Netherlands. So you can order those from our online shop. Uh, I've posted a couple of um, cards on in Instagram, like all the projects with the Painted Harvest, High Tide. But there's like 54 stamp sets that's on the sale. Uh, so yes, 15% off just for the... for. The last three hours? Yeah, the last next couple Don't of hours, 15% off selected for um, stamp sets. Yes. So good, so if you grab a bargain. If you don't live in any of the countries which we just mentioned, if you live in one of the other ones, um, that side is going on as well worldwide, but you obviously need to find a local demonstrator 
in your region yes. so, or your country. So. If you're unsure who they are, um, give us an email or send us a message. Uh, we're bound to know someone in any regions. Yeah. So lovely. All right. Yes. So um, anything else? No, I think, we're no, done. I just think done that, that is again. it. I caught myself um, doing that noise then. If you do enjoy this video, please like and share it. Uh, you could also donate on our tip <laughs> jar. Uh, did you post the link? I didn't post the okay, link. That's you fine. We'll post, I'll moment. post the link. Uh, yes, but uh, sharing and liking would be amazing. Yes. Thank you. Lovely. All right. So we're going to crack on and we're going to use a new trimmer as well tonight. And that's oh. a, uh, the new trimmer, um, whilst we've got it here, Oh yes. is I'm available okay. to demonstrators currently at the moment. Um, but it is actually going to be available. We know now officially the trimmer itself is going to be available to customers from the 1st of November. So it doesn't really matter really. So if you want to, if you want to demonstrate, you can get it now, but if you want to wait until the 1st of November, you can get it from the 1st of November. Um, and I must say, I am quite enjoying it. Yes. So Barry's nice done, channel. Barry's done a nice review. Uh, that's on our YouTube channel as well. Yeah. So good. Lovely. Right. Let's crack on. Let's flick you around. So, Okay, so if we give you a closer look on these on some of these cards and we're um I think we're fine there. So you can see there that's what we did yesterday. We put a little bit of glue on on here as well, chucked on the ice glitter and um it's given us and done it on the designer series paper as well and it's given us a really nice crystal um kind of frosty effect. Works lovely with this designer series paper. And we heat embossed the sentiment there in silver embossing powder so really really nice card i really enjoyed making that one um like i said these are the other ones i can show you you might be able to see the that's it you can see them a bit better there now the dots and you can see there's a little bit of glitter in them as well they dry nicely you have to be careful with it but they do dry quite nicely as well did you want to show these cards here jay your um obviously yeah. these are this is if you missed it the other day this is what we made for our um our video on sunday was it yeah this is our blends box so it's designed to make um designed for the blends for two blends to go in here or anything else bar of chocolate which will fit it's done quite nicely nice and flat and it's also quite good for a nice table gift like a little um table setting because if you put the gems on here you can put your name tag on here and then it sits up quite nicely as well. You so can use the nice... Make a Different stamp set, which is currently 15% off. You could, yes. <laughs> and he tied this nice little ribbon, this nice little bow, um, just to go on the ends, which will just sit just there. So that's good. So that's that one. And I'm not really sure what this one is, um, but this is another one which he decided to do. And I think it's designed to have a chocolate in it of some kind and will fit yeah that that one was from the stamp review crew blog hop is there instructions on this one nope no. but uh it's pretty much the same way the measurements are on the blog uh but it's pretty much the same way as the other that's the blends all oh, oh right forms. yeah okay i can see it's the same yeah. just you just change the measurements so there we go there's another nice way of using some of those bits so, do you want to just take those away yeah. from me, Jay? So, before we I just quit slurping my tea. So, we're using the Basic Patterns decorative masks tonight, okay? If you, if you haven't seen them already, there is also the Pattern Party decorative masks. These are in the um, catalogue, the annual catalogue. So, I'm just going to show these ones to you as well, because the masks, I think, they get overlooked in the catalogues. So you've got some nice um, clouds, you get some diamonds, bricks, or something, so, or, yeah, let's get the bricks. Um, per, be good for your mail card. So you can kind of use the techniques which we're doing today and you could use these things. And you've got this, um, what would you call this? A mandala type yes, of thing? Yes, I guess. Maybe, I'm not really sure. I'm sure somebody will correct me the exact terminology of this pattern. Um, that size one. So I just wanted to show you those as well because they are available in the annual catalogue. And if you like those ones, they are called the Pattern Party Decorative Masks. But the ones which we're going to be using this evening 
is the in the autumn winter catalog and they are the basic pattern decorative masks okay so you get this lovely one i've forgotten what the, somebody a lady told us what the pattern was on one of them can you remember what it was no no i've forgotten what it is it was this one baroque yeah. baroque that's it but that, that's so one. this one here i don't know what this pattern is I it's really it's pretty a leaf, a leaf. This leafy. one's easy. This one's easy. Trees. <laughs> <laughs> I can do this one. Trees. That one's leafy. <laughs> leafy. Yeah. Tree. 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 Leafy. Tree. Um, Barocky. <laughs> 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 um, um, Dotty. <laughs> Are you naming me? Uh, I'm naming them now. Okay. Yeah. So we've got Dotty, Barocky, we've got Leafy, and we've got Tree. All right, so that's what we're going to be <laughs> using. That's that's what these ones are. So again, the dotty one's quite nice. Again, for your masculine cards, you can do something quite nicely with those with the colours. Obviously, this is a little bit more flowery, um, a little bit pretty, so you could do something like that. Um, trees, quite nice as a background. And you've got a leafy one. So what one shall I use tonight? Um, Barocky. Shall I go with that one there? Yeah. Cool. All right, so we are going to, and if anyone's interested in the Live Local, we are doing a special class with these stencils on the 26th of November. Um, it's £15 for the class, and you will be going home with this packet of stencils as well. Um, and we will be showing you some fun techniques and playing around with these with the stencils. Okay, so if anyone's interested, head over to our website and all the details about the class is on there. So, what we are going to do, I'm just giving myself a bit of room because I'm going to do, be doing a bit of trimming. We're going to take some Whisper White Thick. Okay, actually I can use that one. And I'm going to cut this, I'm going to cut my Whisper White Thick down to, oh actually, could you just pass me over the original one, which was there. I'm just going to measure that, what is that size of that one there. I'm just going to measure this off camera so you don't see the finished piece beforehand. Ooh. Um, okay. okay, that's fine. Oh, just flashed it in there. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm going to take my trimmer, okay, and I'm going to cut this piece down to seven, six and three quarters. By six and three quarters. Okay. And what I do need, Jack, actually, is some stencil tape. It should be in one of those drawers. So what I've got here is I've got some stencil tape, okay, and it's been, the reason I call it stencil tape is because it's a low tack tape. So if you use masking tape, you will, um, you probably run the risk of ripping the paper. You can use masking tape, but just detack it a little bit, so rub it on your trousers and defluff it. But if you use stencil tape, it's a little bit less tacky. And so, on, so I'm going to pop some stencil tape on here. Unfortunately, we don't sell the stencil tape, um, but you can get it quite easily on online. So I'm just going to stencil this down, or stick this down. Like that. Okay, so that's good. So what we are also going to be working with, we are going to be working with the embossing paste, which is this one here. So little tip to keep your embossing paste dry. Once you buy it and you take the lid off, grab yourself some cling film and then just pop it over. And then when you come to seal it up again, just pop your bit over and then trap the, and then trap it in and have it hanging out. Uh, it will keep it airtight and it will stop it from drying out. It won't stop it from drying out completely over a long period of time, but it will prevent it from drying out too quickly. All right, so, and it's a very fast drying embossing paste as well, which is why it's quite good for doing demonstrations like this, because I can do it 
do something else and it will be dry in a couple, it'll be dry in about 10 minutes. Okay, I'm also needing the silicon craft sheet here as well. This is, or you can just use anything. You can use a bit of acetate, but I'm just gonna use something because I need to pop my embossing paste on, on this, okay? So I'm gonna grab a bit of an embossing paste out. So I've kind of taken a little, taken about that much out. That even that's probably a little bit too much actually. So I'm going to actually no, I'm going to stick with what I had. I'd much rather have a little bit too much and too little than get the colours wrong when I when I mix this. Is the video working for you? What do you mean? Because my, on my screen is not. Is it is it okay there? Yeah, so it's yeah. okay here. Okay. Is it work? Is it is it frozen on the computer there? Has it? Yeah. Okay. Let us know. Is anyone having any problems re re um, watching this? Because Jay seems to be having some problems. So let us know. Um, you all up to date? All up to speed? So I have got my embossing paste. I have also now going to take some Merry Merlot Reinca. Okay. So Reincas are um. They're a little bit tricky to get hold of at the moment, but if you've got any reinkers in your stash, this will work perfectly. If not, some reinkers will be available soon, hopefully. Um, see some comments coming through. All clear here. Okay, so it must just be you. Thanks. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my reinker and I'm going to pop. I can do this over here, and I'm going to pop one. There's two drops have just gone into that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my little little spatula here. And I'm just going to colour this, okay? Okay, some people I think are having problems with the video though. No? Fine here, okay. I think it might be a mixture. <laughs> I'm gonna go with one more blob of um, reinker in there. I'm gonna make it a bit darker. It looks like a sorbet. <laughs> it's definitely not a sorbet. <laughs> Don't eat it. <laughs> okay, so there is my embossing paste. So what we're going to do is we are going to pick pick this up and I'm just going to pop it up the top here like so and I'm just going to pull it through this mask. These tools are also available um, via us as well. So and they come in a packet of three, okay. So we go through and scrape off the excess. All right, I did have a little bit too much there, but it's quite tricky just to get to know. And you're just gonna take off the excess. Yeah, you could do actually if you want what just to just spread it on there. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to do it on some? Yeah, cut and cut a um, an A6 card or something so it's not wasted. So yeah, so what I'd recommend when you do have the waste that you have excess like this, if you have a piece of cardstock to spare, cut to size, and then what we do is we would just um, we're just put the excess on it randomly, or we can probably run it through another stencil, maybe, if you wanted to. You can do a swoosh. Or we could just do a splodge. Very technical terms here, splodges, and tree, and leafy. Barocky. And Barocky. And what was the other one? Dotty. <laughs> Very technical. Okay, just wait for Jay to come back with the... Um, here. With the thingy, so... With your off cuts, 
pick up your excess. And um, where, how do you want me to do it, Jay? Just splodge it on anywhere. Yep. In the middle. Across, this across, yeah. He this didn't. Across, yeah. Oh, he didn't. That's why. Like that. He, it's just giving me an evil look, everybody. Why did you just <laughs> do it like that? I just there said go. Top gross. It's fine. You splodge. That's fine. Beautiful. Yeah, well, <laughs> you started it off. <laughs> we'll make something with that. Yeah. Oh. There you go. Maybe stencil in just to give it a bit of texture, <gasps> maybe. Ooh. See, we're going off piece here now. Do you want the dossy one? So, just to give it this, we're just playing now. Just in. That really worked, didn't it? <laughs> because if you just press it there, and then I'll put right into the big shot. Okay, he's going to do something. We will see what that comes out like in a moment. So have a um, have a scrap piece of paper by the side of you. Okay, so now we go for the reveal here. So I'm going to take this part off here. Okay, so we have, we've coloured our embossing paste, we have stenciled through with the stain, and we've now got a nice, you can see there's a little bit of, a um, little bit of texture there, and it's been coloured. Okay, and Jay's just coloured that through. But, so we let this dry, and we can probably use some die cut from it, we can do something from it. But don't, try not to waste your stuff, just splodge it on a, on a scrap bit of paper. So that's that. Give that. Oh, okay. I put a backing. Jay put a backing on as well. It's a bit of scrap um, craft card which we had lying around, and that's what it's come out like as well. And that's really quite pretty. Hmm. So um, we could probably cut that down quite nicely. It reminds me a little bit of like you know like the music. Um, and yeah, I'm going to shut up now. Equalizer. That's the one. <laughs> so there we go. That is the embossing. Um, Embossing paste through an embossing um, stencil. All right, just gonna get Jay to pop those in the sink for me just to dry out because it's very fast drying, um, very fast drying pe um, paste. Get your get your stuff in the sink quickly um, whilst this is drying up, and then that way it'll be easier to clean your tools. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm also gonna grab another piece of Whisper White Thick. And I need my trimmer. And I'm gonna make a frame. So this is where this trimmer comes into its own. Okay, very it's the same as the old our old trimmer, and it's this is no different. Okay, so I am gonna make a frame. So I have got cut this to six. By six okay so I need another six by six so we've got a six and three quarters for the bit which we've just done the embossing paste on and I'm cutting a piece of whisper white which and um, whisper white thick which is six by six okay so I'm turning the trimmer upside down so I can read the numbers which are closer to me so this is a little bit easier you look like you want to say something no? yeah you're right okay because I want to read the numbers down here on the um, on the trimmer so, and I want to now cut an aperture out here at half a, um, did I do it at half? I do it, I did do it at half, at half an inch, okay? So you wanna line your paper, bring your paper down, butt up against the edge here, line it up with half an inch on this side here. Bring your trimmer in. And I just put the trimmer somewhere in the middle of the paper, okay, and push down. 
And now I'm gonna then just cut, and I'm gonna cut this down to half an inch. Now I need to stand up to do this. Because I need to be over the trimmer. So I'm gonna then bring on the on the um, trimmer, there's these little lines on the actual blade here. And I'm gonna bring that down and line it up with half an inch. Gonna go up and I'm gonna line it up with five and a half inches. Okay, take that out, rotate that round, do that again. So line it up with half an inch. Come down to half an inch. So line up the little marks on the blade here with half an inch. And then go up and line it up with five and a half inches. Okay, come round again. Half. And the last cut. And if I cut that nicely, that should just fall out. So there we go. And that's how you use the blend the trimmer, okay? One of the, that was one of the best things I liked about the other trimmer and we've been able to bring it over onto this trimmer as well. And we've actually got a bigger edge. We've actually got more room over this side, which is really good. So this is available now to demonstrators from the 1st of November to everybody else, okay? And that's how you can create some frames. Okay, so which is good. If um, I show you on this one here as well, where is it? I did another frame, this one here, and you can see it's got the stitched edge on it. This is this one's been created. You'll need a big shot for this one, and you'll need the rectangle stitched frames as well. If you, you put the big big shot, yeah. If you're doing, yes, you probably yeah. You can, if you keep it to six by six, you can get it through the big shots. Um, but ideally, if you do have a larger platform cutting machine, then that would be a lot easier because the six by six is quite tight to get it in. You may run the risk of damaging the edges if it runs in. So if you've got a large machine, this will work perfectly. An A4, one. An A4 machine. So if you've got this stitched frame, so you, put, you cut out the large rectangle stitched here, and then you just move it across, reseat it back in here, and then you cut the other side, and then you can get yourself a square. And that's how you can get a nice large <coughs> square with a stitched edge as well. All right, so it's just a matter, and it reseats itself back in there quite nicely. You can see there's hardly, you can hardly see where the join, where the join was. I don't think you can at all, actually, where I actually put the seam in, maybe just there. You can see there's a little bit of an indent just there so that's where the join was all right but nothing which you're not going to be able to live with so that there is my yep. bits yeah so that's that one and then that frame will sit quite nicely over the top of that there i did have a little bit of seepage never mind that's gonna get covered up ish we live with that. It's it's handmade, isn't it? So that's that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hand over to Jay. What? Already? I didn't actually I didn't actually give Jay a five minute warning, did I? He's not ready for me. <laughs> um, um, how can right. I how can I feel? Um, do, 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 do. <laughs> so I'm not going to stick anything down, but I would stick this down on foam pads, and this is going to go down like that. So what Jay is going to do now, he is going to now finish the card off for you with the decoration okay and this embossing paste is dry enough at the moment it's still not dry dry but it's dry enough that you can work with okay it's not gonna you're, you're not gonna smudge it too if you, you can push into it and see it and that's a couple of minutes and it's not you so you can work with it instantly whereas some embossing paste out there you need to leave it for hours and hours before you can even start to do anything with it ours dries quickly which I love it was great so we will pass over to Jay and he will carry on carry on carry on right hello cool 
So yes, thanks Barry for the um, horning. Um, so that looks lovely. And have you got the cardstock at yeah. all? I can grab you the cardstock. Yes, please. Um, so I'm gonna be using the perfectly flat uh, stamp set. I'm actually just going to stamp the sentiment on the offcut that Barry had, which is there. Is that gonna be long, big enough? Is it, is it? Ooh, just, okay, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> So this is the uh, this is a seven seven by seven inch card base that we've had in our stash for oh, ages. Geez. So uh, you can get a six by six by using uh, twelve by twelve card stock, yeah. and then obviously cutting that into six by twelve, and then scoring that down to six inch, and then obviously it'll just be slightly smaller than these. Um, and yeah, Barry did a, a commission, he commissioned the card uh, for one of his uh, workmates and he actually turned the Baroque uh, design this way and it just looks different to when it is that way because um, I think it just, because that's quite uh, centralized and then if you just turn it that way, it just gives it a different look, I think anyway. Yeah, so no, I agree with you. I'm gonna uh, keep it that way. Pop that in with foam pads. I'm actually gonna use the what's this? Strips. Foam adhesive strips. So just for um easier um positioning of that. Uh, let's see if I can stamp this on there. So what's the size? I wasn't actually watching you because I was trying to Sorry, make okay. something. What's the size of your the size frame? of the frame is six by six. It's six by six. Yeah. Okay. The, but the inner size is um, will be five by five. Okay. So the outer, the outer is six by six. The inner aperture is mm. five by five. So that is six by six. So I know because that edge is on the six inch mark. That's so cool. I like yeah, I like I like that. I like that, I like that as well. All right, I'm just gonna cut this uh, the six inches. Just gonna stamp that with Mary Merlot, just keeping it the same color as what Barry is. It's not gonna fit. Yeah, we'll make it fit. There's a bigger one, but that is way too big. Okay, we'll see. We'll see if I can stamp straight. So I'm just using the grid on the grid mat. And I'm just gonna do it off center. Yay! So that was quick. That was lucky. So that was just an off cut uh, from Barry's trimmings and it looks like that is, let's have a look, uh, 15 sixteenth of an inch. So an inch would probably be easier to align uh, by six inches. Okay, and I am going to just put this on the card base and then I'll do some other stamping just so it's all in oops oops we're running out we're running no, out we're yeah, running out of glue we need to put another order in soon hopefully <laughs> no literally run out Just gonna stand up and just put that on centered. I think that Mary Merlot's worked quite well actually. It's really nice, it? yeah. Yeah, so uh, the re inker that Barry used for his last one, have you shown it? No, this, uh, I yeah, whilst Joe's sticking, this here is real red, 
It's okay. going really neon orange. But the one which I actually used for the commission, which I had this week, I used... Um, Ma um, melon mambo. Melon mambo, and I tell you, it went really neon pink. That was really It was nice. really nice. It was really I pretty. Um, so, yeah, when you're using because it's white, and you're changing, you obviously are going to change the colour of it slightly. But I think Mary Merlot has actually stayed quite it's, true to yeah, itself. It's, it's, as I said, it looks like sorbet. I love it. I love that was it. Free, that was three drops of um, re -inca into what I used. So we have this. We've got these for a long time as well. <laughs> yes, we have. Um, actually. Mm. Right. Whilst it's on, I am going to add this at the back. So then it's hidden. Okay. So that way, and I'm just gonna add that one there. So that's about. That's quite low. No point. Uh, one, one and a quarter, maybe higher if you want it. Let's have a look. No, that's fine. I want the the stencil background to be quite a, a big focal point on there because you you stenciled it. Might as well show it off, right? Right. Is the straight? Nope. Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? Right. These are great. So this is good for your shaker cards as well because you can kind of like bend them um, round. And those snow globe as well. Oh no, the snow globe is already got this sticky stuff. So scrap that. It's, the, uh, it's it's got the sticky backing already on it so um, you just need to peel off so Lindsay remember what I said last night it's double-sided here we go nearly done I'm just gonna put this on and then I need to think about my trees how am I going to do my trees, Barry? Oh, sorry, what? Well, <laughs> <no comments. laughs> what was that? How shall I do? Can you get me embossing um, heat tool? The heat tool? And such. Please, because um, we used it in class last night. Has oh, it not been packed away yet from class? We actually haven't packed it away. I don't even know where anything is. Did we bring it home? <laughs> Yes, we did. Uh, it's more the embossing buddy that I need because I couldn't find it. There we go. I had an accident. Well, and it, at work, so that's why I got some plaster on. But I'm all right. Do you need the heat tool? Yes, please. You do need the heat tool as well, do you? Of course. So that is done. Oh, I just wanted to cover it so it's not um, soggy or it's not it's not flimsy at the bottom, so it supports itself. Right, I'm just standing up and then aligning that, set, trying to centralize that. Oh, you have a thing there. I know. I just had a little bit of seepage. Oh, I thought you meant on the other side. That's fine. Will one of those sand rubbers work? We can try. Right. I don't know if it will. So 
that's where we ruin it. Should we just leave it? No, it's, it's too. That's fine. Add character. Oh, is that when you said, oh, yeah, it is unmade? <laughs> yes. Right, and I couldn't stick my six inch. They actually, I'm just gonna cover that there. So, there we go for that. And oh, I am going to use Shady Spruce and Mint Macaron um, cardstock. And I'll be stamping the trees on there. So what tree shall I do? Barry? Um, not that, that one. one. No. No. Which one? Either tr the tree tree or the, pla or the plant the tree. The tree tree. I quite in like white. I'm going to emboss it in white. I, I'm gonna go maybe with the one which you got then if you're gonna have a boss yeah. it in white, okay. Where's my versa mark? You didn't ask me for versa mark, well, did you? Well I told you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't forget I've got lots of witnesses that you didn't ask me for versa well, mark. You I, just said embossing buddy. I well I did say I'm doing some embossing, so Whatevs. you know what embossing entails. Right, embossing buddy, I'm just preparing the cardstock. <laughs> Just to take off any excess moisture on the card. Uh, Versa mark is, um, I was like, yeah, it's invisible ink. Um, so it's basically just quite a sticky ink um, to keep it wet for a long time. So then you, you'll be able to stick your embossing powder on top. Can I see somewhere? There we go. Right, white embossing powder. What's that? That's old. There. We still have a heat and stick in there. We do have heat and stick. Uh, paper. Let's take that. I'll get some okay. paper for you. Thanks. We'll just do it on the card box. I may probably stuck it down to the card box. Oh, Tommy nearly trod on you. Just do it with a bit of whisper white to start. Okay. What is this helper like? Thank you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just chuck it on. None of this. Yeah, just get it just on there. And get then it on it there, off. and then just tap it on, tap it off even, because you're just gonna put it back in anyway. So it's just easier to make sure that it's Everyone covered comes. properly, and then it looks like that. There you go. See, so I am helping for hand. something. Right, I normally heat emboss from underneath uh, some people do it on top but just be careful um, when you're heat embossing uh, don't have it too close or don't wiggle it yeah, too don't much wiggle it. Um, but you'll see that the powder when it turns um, solid and shiny that's when you know to move your um, to, to move the aim of your heat tool okay So now it's turning and I'm just moving my heat to there. It's still one of the best te um, technique that I love about card making. It's like, it's just magic. And then you just do a bit on top. That's fine. I'll talk to myself. There we go. So um, I was talking over the heat embossing. So I just said, um, basically, it's it's one of the techniques that I I, I still get really. Still wows you. Yeah, uh, because after all it's, this time, it's just, it's just like magic, like magic. Right. Um, 
my punch is here I need to send Barry over there so I'm just gonna punch this off and then I'm white on that green is lovely isn't it yeah so I'm just basically making sure that that line is centralized at the bottom there I think one of the cats is misbehaving Barry's clicking his fingers <laughs> That's how we tell. That, that's how we tell them all. <laughs> I guess I'm not when I can't shout at them on the camera. <laughs> uh, do you want attention? There we go. Yeah. I've just been stared at. <laughs> oh, Tommy. All right, and I'm. I can cover it. Oh no, it's too. Do it's too low. And I'm just going to cover that and have that there and there. So that covers cat hair. <laughs> Drawing holiday rhinestones in there as well. What's the holiday rhinestone? The coloured ones. Probably not actually. Uh, bring it. Bring it on. <laughs> uh, glue. Right, I'm just going to glue these and then we'll see what else we can add on to it. Have we actually got any other glue? Um, no. <laughs> we sold our last two. We sold two our last two last <laughs> night. Well, to be honest, I've forgotten we haven't got any of them ourselves. <laughs> yeah, Carrie. I hope you're enjoying your glue. <laughs> right, I'll add this on. Ooh, it comes and goes. There we go. Pretty. So this is this is the type of card <laughs> I would I would class as it. It's one of those special cards. So, uh, you. Yeah. Oh, why did I do that? I don't know. It's one of those special ones um, you give to a, a family member or a very close friend. That's gonna be sticky. There we go, yeah. Because it's gonna be off like that. There we go. Rhinestone red. Oh, that's quite funky with the the red would work as well as with the I haven't got to take oh, got to take Right, let's see. And where's our Christmas I I I want to add something here. What do you want a ribbon? Yes, please. Oh there's ribbon. a spatula on this one. Can we like scrape off the thing? Be able to. I think it's dried on too much now, hasn't it? Get some white, get a white craft pen on it. Yeah, <laughs> that, oh, no. I was thinking that or if you have acry acrylic paint, but then it'll just be blobby. Little bow early on. Oh, did you tie a bow? Oh, yeah. Do you want to do that live? Oh, look how pretty that is. <laughs> it is pretty. <laughs> That's why I didn't undo it because I was quite happy with it. <laughs> well, do you want to cut it? I, I would you cut it. But you don't like it. <laughs> it's too slime. small. Well, you can do another one then. Okay. Let's save that one for another time. Yeah, save that for your next card. Okay, so that one. So oh. he doesn't like what I make. Well, if you made it bigger, uh, because I want to hide this thing that you created. Right, um, bow making. How can we do this? Uh, to... to 
Is that big enough? Right, two. Why are you so needy? Oh, wow, claws. Under. Is that two? No, that's just one. Right, okay, so. Wrap twice, so I have two loops on there and then two loops on there. It looks like three, but that one's gonna be the tail. And then that goes under in between. I'm just holding that like so, and then you just tie a knot. He says, Huh? What do you mean? And then before that's gone small. So it's the same size as what I've already made. No, but it's two. <laughs> <laughs> it is, isn't it? That's fine. I'll use mine. <laughs> Dude. Uh. And then you can spread it out. Spread it out. There you go. It looks like a butterfly. I don't like that bow. That bow is funky. No. No, don't like it either. It's too big. Okay, I'm I'm just gonna do one. I'll I'll use yours. Just to keep you happy. No, and, fine. Do you want. and I'll just put it in, I'll just use it in the small one there. And because I was trying to um, cover that, so I'm just using glue dot. No, you're right, mum, there's no pleasing him, is there? <laughs> Don't like it. Lovely bow, Barry. Thank you. You're welcome. Right. I know you said red. I'm gonna have. What is it? is it? Does it just say yellow? What on the basic jewels? Yeah. I don't actually know. It looks gold. Let's have a look, shall we? Yeah, you're having a look. Okay. Thanks. Cherry cobbler, coastal cabana, nice and navy, pumpkin pie, and shaded spruce. So it's pump, pumpkin it's pie. Pumpkin pie. Okay. Yeah. Cool. But it um, does look very goldy. But yeah, it's meant to be an orangey. It does merge into it, but I, I think it, it stands out more than a, the. What's cherry cobbler? I'm just going to put three. And that is that. I'm going to stop there before I add way too much stuff. Really? There we go. Beautiful. Well done, Barry. I, I really like that embossed background. Yeah, I think it's really nice. Which is why I wanted to do a larger card because it's a six by six embossing. I wanted to, I wanted to use the whole thing. Yeah. Um, I didn't want to, I didn't want to have to cut it down, so um, I'm saying with our embossing paste, it dries so quickly. It's you know, I really like those gems on it. Actually, it just adds a little bit of um, sparkle. Yeah, I quite like that. It's it's bare on top because you can see the um, embossing more. Yeah. I'm just gonna try and punch this and see what it looks like. This is our off cut from earlier on. So you can if. So that's the one that Barry spread so nicely that I had to go over and um, spread it even more and I ran it through the big shot. Because he didn't like my initial spreading. <laughs> but yes, so you can have some funky trees, dotted trees, 
There you go, Barry. You can make something with these. Really? Yes. That's your homework for the week. And you're gonna show them all on Sunday on YouTube Live. Am I really? Yes. Right? D don't you think he should make something out of his off cards? Yes. I am making you some homework. <laughs> what can you do with that? Look, five in a row. Wives, okay. Cool. Excellent. So, what do you all think? Do you like? How pretty do you think that is? Okay, you can see that you can see the texture there and that embossing paste is quite nice as well. Um, really, really pretty. Challenge is on. Yes. So good. So let us know what you think of that. I hope you like that. Um, so yeah, lovely. What do you want? Jay's disappeared quickly. Yeah, he's coming back. So that's fine. Are we going to go back to um, back to front? Back to the future. Ta -da. Challenges on. Shall I give you some as well, Sandra? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> you should. You should get quiet. <laughs> so there we go. There is our lovely seven by seven card. Um, oh, nearly dropped it. Um, Tell me what for you, you tonight. So I hope you like that. I'm really happy with that. I'm really liking yeah. these large cards at the moment. So I might... Especially for Christmas, I think. I it's think just Christmas, nice. I think larger cards for nice Christmas and special cards. It's just nice to get a nice larger card out because they take a little bit more... Um, they stand out mm. a little bit more. So there we go. And that's something which we've done with the real red. Which yes. Which come out very neon-y. So I'll, I'll do something with that. Um, pretty much the same as what we've done and blocked that. I I did tell Barry do something like non-traditional colors, but he he wanted more. I'm traditional. Really traditional, and there's the dotty. So, so I'm, you've got I'm leafy. You've got dotty. You've got bam, bur, rocky. Yeah, we're we're missing the fourth one. I haven't got tree. We need to make something I need to with, do tree. with tree. So yeah, so I'll okay. make something with that with um more probably but you neon so colors and um, see if you if you change this over to you could do this card here christmas you could make it for the the man of your life just change it to blues maybe or something greens and make it a little bit more manly it doesn't need to be your red so you've got yourself um you can make yourself some manly cards with these manly cards and stencils i think quite yeah are quite good. Stamps are quite flowery. We go seem to go for flowery stamps, don't yes. we? But I think stencils are yes. quite good for adapting to man stuff because you can get a little bit arty with them. You can layer them up. You can do all sorts. You can change your colours. You can st you can just do so much more with stencils. And I think we forget that we've got stencils and we need to play with them a little bit more. So there we go. Hope cool. you liked that. So we will blog this and we will show you the proper pictures of this on Friday. Right. So there will be the, the blog with a link back to this video so you can re obviously this video will be available on YouTube anyway, it will, it will always be there. Um, but we've put a link up and with close up pictures of how this looks in, in, in picture form as well. Yeah. Cool. Thanks <laughs> um, so much for joining so yes. us. So you still got, what time is it? Half past eight, half past nine, half past ten. You've got two hours and 20 minutes left of the 24 hour sale. Um, yeah, so if you want to grab a bargain, check that out and you can get 15% off some stamps. Okay. There's some new ones in there as well, like the unicorn, yeah, uh, little twinkle, beautiful. And there's, cr and there's uh, the, uh, a majority of the Christmas ones in the annual catalogue are also reduced as well yeah. by 15%. So if you, if we, we, again, the, the annual catalogue has Christmas in it as well. And some of those are reduced by 15 So um, save yourself some money. Yes. And grab yourself a bargain. There we go. Excellent. All right. Cool. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you. And we will be back with you on Sunday night. What are we doing Sunday? Any Don't ideas? Know. Don't know. No? We didn't know what we were doing this until half an hour before. Well, we... I, I did plan to do some baby wipe techniques, but oh, I okay. left my baby wipes at home. Baby wipes on Sunday then. Yeah. Okay. Baby wipe techniques Sunday. That's what we will be doing. Stop. Sorry, I'm wobbling the table. You're going to come and say goodbye, Tommy? Tommy, come on. There we go. There we go. All right. Tommy has come in.
Say hello. Hello. <laughs> he moved his mouth as well. What you been eating? Yeah, what's he been eating? Uh, He's found something on the floor, hasn't he? Um, so baby wipe technique on Sunday, I yes. think. Okay, we're committing. I've got homework. He's got baby wipe technique. Yes. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for watching, cool. and we Thank will you. see you Sunday evening at 7 o'clock. Yeah. All right. See you later. Bye. Bye.